go grab some popcorn because it's time for the first episode of Movie Quiz. Hello and welcome to today's first ever Movie Quiz. This is um, a Christmas sort of quiz, it's got a few Christmas questions in it. Um, and it's just, it's a random quiz, it's not Pacific, and this is the first one. And today we are joined by Evan, Hi. who's going to be helping you out with some of the questions. Uh, we're going to reveal the answers at the end of the video, and you'll have 15 seconds to answer each question um, with the question. When the question is finished, we'll ask the next one. If you didn't have enough time, obviously it's YouTube, so just rewind and um, press play or just pause the video on that slide so you could have more time to answer it. There's no real limit, it's just a game, so it doesn't really matter. First question. Who made and ruined the Star Wars prequels? Hint, he also made number seven. Question two. What relationship was Frodo to Bilbo in The Lord of the Rings? Question 3. Who did Chris Pat play in Guardians of the Galaxy? Question four. What is Tony Stark's computer system called? Question five. What was it that Tony Stark said that Ultron misinterpreted? I'm going to do the uh, answers to the first wave of questions, which is questions one to five. There is 15 questions in total, which is three waves. Um, Evan's just gone out the room because he, in fact, is actually going to do this quiz after its release on YouTube. Uh, and he doesn't know any of the answers, so, well, yeah, which is quite good. So, question number one, the answer to question number one, which was, who made and ruined uh, the Star Wars prequels? Uh, hint, he also made number seven. The answer is George Lucas. So well done if you got that right. Um, the answer to number two, what relationship, uh, what relation is Frodo to Bilbo in The Lord of the Rings? Uh, the answer is uh, he's his nephew. So nephew. Um, number three, who did Chris Pat play in Guardians of the Galaxy while well, he played Star-Lord? Which you can also get Quill if you put Quill down, that's the correct answer. Question number four. What did Tony, What is Tony Stark's computer system called? Uh, the answer is Jarvis, of course. You've got a like, 3D hologram, and that is Jarvis. Um, question number five. What is the saying? What saying, or what did Tony Stark say that Ultron misinterpreted? The answer is peace in our time. Question number six. Name three teen fiction movies. Question 7. Name five films that Johnny Depp has acted in. Question number 8. What is the highest grossing film ever? Question 9. At what rank in the top 10 is the Star Wars 1 to 6 collection? Question 
Question number 10. When was Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark released? Now, uh, Evans just disappeared again. We can go through the answers. Uh, question number six. Name any team, three teen fiction movies. Well, that can be uh, any teen fiction movies. Hunger Games, Divergent. Um, it can also be stuff like Fort and Our Stars, Paper Towns, all that sort of genre. So, like the comedy romance built for teens. It's normally teens doing it sort of thing. So. Uh, your answers, just look it up and see if it is actually teen fiction. I can't go through them all because there's thousands of them. Question number seven. Name any five films Johnny Depp has acted in. Uh, you've got stuff like R Lone Ranger, Pirates of the Caribbean, Edward Scissorhand. There's hundreds of really old ones. Um, and there's all sorts. This question was quite hard, so if you've only managed to get three, as long as it's not all Pirates of the Caribbean... Uh, Black Pearl, Strange Tribes, Dead Man's Chest, all the Pirates of the Caribbean ones. You can get that answer for that question. I'll, I'll give it to you. Question number eight. What's the highest grossing film ever? The answer is Gone with the Wind. Question number nine. At what rank was the one to six collection of Star Wars in the top ten? Um, out of the highest grossing movie type thing. Uh, the answer was third. Wasn't the most popular. You had Gone with the Wind, then Avatar, then Star Wars, and then it kept on going down. Um, but they do believe Star Wars 7 is probably going to beat that and come third. They don't think it's going to top Avatar, but they definitely reckon it's going to come fifth, fourth, or third. Um, because it's a very popular movie. Question number 10. When was the first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, released? The correct answer is 1981. Now, if you got anywhere near that, just... Give yourself the mark. I mean, I'm not marking them. You mark them. So, yeah, let's go on to the third wave. Question 11. How many James Bond movies have there been? Question number 12. What is the highest grossing Christmas movie ever? What is the longest time a film has shown at a cinema? What was it? Question 14. What is Marvel's most popular movie so far? movie okay now let's go some through some answers for the third wave of questions that's questions 11 to 15 so question 11 how many James Bond movies have there been there have been 24, including the current movie, Spectre. Question 12. What's the highest grossing Christmas movie ever? The answer is, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Question 13. What was the longest amount of time a film had played at the cinema? And what was it? Well, it was over a year, and the film was E.T. It's a pretty long time, considering films these days only really last a month, maybe, at cinema. Uh, question 14. What is Marvel's most popular movie so far? Now, I, I, I've been personally thinking about this, and I'm thinking, I don't know, probably probably Avengers 1, maybe. But I've looked, Avengers 1 comes third on the list. Second is Captain America 2, Winter Soldier, which is a good movie, yes. 
But in first place, what's Marvel's most popular movie? The answer is Guardians of the Galaxy, which is fair enough. Question 15. What's Disney's first movie? Um, it was Snow White. Uh, thank you for playing and doing the quiz and watching this episode. Uh, really hope you've enjoyed it. It's the first quiz episode. Uh, we're bound to do more at some point. And we've been joined by Evan, who's been an amazing helper. Uh, so please, like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment and... Remember, subscribe, movie geeks! Thank you for watching. Goodbye.